This is a McDonald's Happy Meal. Your kids will love it. Super Mario, Barbie, Furby, Beanie Babies, and Halloween Buckets. These are just some of the Happy Meal toys McDee's has put out over the years. From classic characters, quirky gadgets, and even a McDee's toothbrush, this is the ultimate McDonald's Happy Meal toy tier list. See where these treasures rank on a scale from must-have to thanks but no thanks. Bad, a happy meal. F tier, just plain bad. Ronald McDonald face mask. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. One of McDonald's more unsettling Happy Meal toys introduced in the 1970s was the Ronald McDonald face mask. This toy consisted of a simple piece of cardboard bearing the face of Ronald McDonald, and it was quite the eerie depiction. The mask featured a wide, unsettling grin and lifeless eyes, giving off an unsettling vibe. To make matters worse, it was crafted from flimsy cardboard, making it prone to tearing rather than being being made from sturdier material like plastic. You're plastic. Cold, shiny, hard plastic. Ronald McDonald glove puppet. If we want to hear you talk, I will shove my arm up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet. Ronald McDonald's grin has graced countless Happy Meal toys, but perhaps the oddest of them all was the plastic glove puppet. Back in the 70s and 80s, despite warnings that plastic bags were unsafe for small children, McDonald's thought it was a brilliant idea to slap Ronald's face and other McDonald land characters on them and pass them off as toys. Dangerous and not much fun. Don't do that! I could have died! Letterland postcards and stationery. New card. What do you think? The 70s marked a period of experimentation for McDonald's as they sought to understand kids' preferences. One such experiment was the Letterland postcards and stationery Happy Meal set, which included three writing sheets and three seals adorned with McDonald's characters. The idea was to enable kids to send postcards to their friends. Unfortunately, it turned out that kids were more interested in toys than stationery. Who knew? It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. Look at this. Gardening toys. Just leave my tomatoes alone! In 1991, McDonald's launched a Nature Watch Happy Meal collection, promoting environmental awareness for Earth Day. Instead of the usual box, these Happy Meals came in recyclable bags. The idea was to encourage outdoor engagement through gardening tools, but the execution left much to be desired. The miniature rake and shovel were more decorative than practical, while a tiny watering can couldn't hold very much water, and the bird feeder was too small to actually feed most birds. McDonald's may have aimed to instill eco-consciousness, but the effectiveness of these tools fell short. Uh, 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 uh. Toothbrush. People, you will brush your teeth in a rapid vertical motion for one minute. Back in the early 1980s, McDonald's recognized the importance of teaching kids good oral hygiene. In an attempt to encourage better dental care, they included toothbrushes and toothpaste in Happy Meals, aiming to help kids remove the grease and food residue from their teeth after enjoying their fast food. While the intent was commendable, toothbrushes and toothpaste didn't quite fit the definition of a toy, leaving children more than a bit disappointed. A definite Happy Meal fail. Now brush your teeth in a rapid vertical motion! Tier E. Not the worst, but close. Finger puppets. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. Back in 1988, McDonald's added a touch of puppetry to their Happy Meals with finger puppets inspired by Disney's Oliver and Company. These four puppets, featuring Oliver, Dodger, Francis, and Georgette, were crafted from plastic, and they weren't very flexible. Despite their limitations, they did sport detailed designs, making them a cute but less than stellar addition to the Happy Meal lineup. Well, I think you need to be more. Flexible. Ronald McDonald sunglasses. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need your sunglasses for a second. Back in the 1980s, a Happy Meal could score you a pair of plastic Ronald McDonald sunglasses. These shades came in two similar designs, both sporting a vibrant yellow hue with the grinning visage of Ronald McDonald. While they added a touch of fun to mealtime, these sunglasses were geared towards children and didn't offer the most comfortable fit. 
What the hell do you think you're doing? Michael Jordan Fitness Fun. Looking for someone? Back in the early 90s, fast food giants were all about promoting an active lifestyle for kids. Enter the Michael Jordan Fitness Fun playset. It made sense to feature the iconic face of Michael Jordan, who was a household name at the time. However, these toys didn't exactly shoot for the slam dunk. The set included a short plastic skipping rope, a frisbee, and a 30-second stopwatch with Michael Jordan's face. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Camp McDonald Land set. It's like we're camping. We love camping. In 1990, McDonald's dabbled in camping gear with the Camp McDonald Land Happy Meal toys. This set featured four items and an additional one for the littlest campers. While some had their merits, like the space-saving Fry Kid utensils, others left much to be desired. The Birdie Mess Kit proved less than watertight, and the Grimace Canteen posed cleaning challenges. To top it off, the plastic used lacked durability, making these Happy Meal toys far from top-tier camping gear. We've never been camping. Wrist wallet. Little man, I give the watch to you. Back in 1979, when the Happy Meal was still fresh on the scene, McDonald's introduced a set of Happy Meal watches, which later became known as the McWrist Wallets. While they may not have actually kept time, these watches doubled as coin purses, coming in four vibrant colors — red, green, blue, and yellow. Though lacking in functionality as timepieces, these pocket-sized wallets were practical for kids to stash their loose change. A practical but unremarkable addition to the Happy meal lineup. What's that? A really nice watch. Go ahead and give this video a like. You've come this far, so make our day. D tier, where things start going downhill. Berenstain Bears slash Doll Books. Can you read? While McDonald's Happy Meals are often associated with toys, they've also promoted literacy at times. In 1990, they joined forces with the Berenstain Bears, offering four short stories. The Attic Treasure, The Eager Beavers, Life with Papa, and The Substitute Teacher. In 2015, McDonald's continued this tradition by releasing eight short stories featuring extracts from beloved rolled doll works. While not the usual toys, these literary treats encouraged kids to dive into the wonderful world of books, providing an alternative form of Happy Meal magic. But when you're hoping for a Hot Wheels car, getting a book kind of makes you feel like you're in school. Anyone? Anyone? The Great Depression. McDonald's Boo Buckets. Jump out and shout boo! Boo! In 1986, McDonald's conjured up a spooky delight for Halloween with their Boo Buckets. These plastic pails, complete with handles, temporarily replaced the standard Happy Meal box throughout October. Each Boo Bucket featured Halloween-themed designs and came in three playful variations — McPunkin, McBoo, and McGoblin. While these Halloween-themed pails disappeared from the scene in the 80s, they made a spirited return in October 22, gracing select McDonald's locations in Canada. Oh, right, I forgot. You guys are weird. You pronounce the word out, out. American Idol MP3 Player. Raise your hand if you know what this is. During the heyday of American Idol in 2007, McDonald's hopped on the bandwagon with a batch of Idol Happy Meal toys. While the show was a cultural sensation, the toys themselves were a bit underwhelming. The lineup featured a pair of basic sunglasses, a plastic microphone headset, a mini guitar, a clapping machine, a simple plastic microphone, and bizarrely, an MP3 player that played just a few seconds of the show's theme. Should have thought this through. Uh, I can't see if you're raising your Sky head. Sky dancers. <laughs> In the mid-1990s, Sky Dancers soared to popularity with their unique flying doll concept. The original toys featured a pull-string base and a doll with foam wings. When the string was tugged, the doll would take flight, spinning its wings like a propeller, mimicking a helicopter's graceful flight. However, the 1996 McDonald's Happy Meal offering of miniature Sky Dancers didn't quite capture the same magic. These smaller versions lacked the ability to take to the skies and could only spin on their base. <laughs> I can fly! Power Rangers. Uh, yes? You gonna eat all those fries? Since the days of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, McDonald's has been serving up Power Rangers Happy Meal toys. While these toys might not be showstoppers, they've been a constant presence in the kids' meal boxes, aligning with the enduring appeal of these action-packed heroes. 
Over the years, these toys have ranged from power coin pogs to plastic figurines accompanied by their trusty vehicles. They've also thrown in some utility gear like binoculars and walkie-talkies. Tier C, a respectable level, Mini Furbies. What? What's a Furby? Back in 1999, McDonald's unleashed a flock of Furby-inspired plastic toys, riding the wave of Furby mania that swept through the late 90s. These Mini Furbies were modeled after the 1998 originals and came in eight different series, with each series showcasing ten different Furbies. What set them apart was the introduction of unique actions for each series. For instance, the Series 1 Furby would purr and give you a sideways glance when you pushed its tail. With a total of eight actions and a whopping 80 Furby variations to collect, these Happy Meal toys offered a taste of Furby magic in every box. Okay, Furby, let's get moving. Teeny Beanie Babies. Would Vanessa catch something? Teeny Beanie Baby Itis. From 1997 to 2000, McDonald's made a mini-sized splash with their Teeny Beanies, pint-sized versions of the Beanie Babies craze. These pocket-sized collectibles hit their zenith in 1998, but saw demand wane in subsequent years, despite larger production runs. At their peak, Teeny Beanies sparked frenzied scenes at McDonald's outlets, with police calls, charges, and even injuries over people trying to get their hands on these diminutive treasures. The inaugural series featured ten beloved beanies, including Patty the Platypus and Quacks the Duck, a slice of Beanie Baby's history for those who remember the craze and the chaos. This uh, teeny Beanie baby itis, will she outgrow it? Not necessarily. <laughs> McNugget Buddies. My name is not Buddy! In 1988, McDonald's served up some clucktastic fun with the McNugget Buddies Happy Meal toys. These quirky adaptations of Chicken McNuggets sported a variety of costumes, bringing playful characters to life. Week by week, stores featured two different characters, enticing repeat visits to collect the full set. What added extra flavor to the fun was the removable accessories, giving kids the creative freedom to mix and match and concoct their very own McNuggets. Nugget characters. What should we name him, Kenny? How about McNugget? Barbie Toys. Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Since 1990, Barbie's been a star in the Happy Meal toy lineup, offering young fans a chance to take home a piece of the glamorous world of fashion and play. These pint-sized dolls, usually measuring between 3 to 5 inches, closely resemble their full-sized Barbie counterparts, but come with a more limited range of motion. Oh, and in case you were wondering, yes, Ken made an appearance as well. Come on in. I'll play the guitar at you. My Little Ponies There's a magical My Little Pony in your McDonald's Happy Meal. Since the early days of My Little Pony, McDonald's has been trotting out pony-based toys to delight young fans. Generation 1 treated fans to pony-themed bookmarks featuring the original six characters, and Generation 2 pony figurines with movable heads pranced into Happy Meals. Generation 3 took it a step further, decking out the figurines with accessories and even offering miniature plushies. The B tier, a very good grade. Monsters vs. Aliens. Hi there! <laughs> Back in 2009, McDonald's teamed up with DreamWorks to create a monster of a Happy Meal promotion to coincide with the animated blockbuster Monsters vs. Aliens. This collection was a total of eight unique toys, each packing its own special punch. Take Ginormica, for instance. Her legs were fully poseable, and she could even hit the roller rink with her tiny car roller skates. Or Galaxar, who lit up when you pulled his feet. These toys were a monster hit with the kids. My back! Just kidding! I don't have a back! Tamagotchi. Do you have Tamagotchi fever? In the summer of 98, McDonald's hopped on the Tamagotchi bandwagon, capitalizing on the digital pet craze that had kids across the globe hooked. Available in the United States and Canada, these Tamagotchi Happy Meal toys were a nod to the iconic virtual pets. The set included Growagachi and Puppagachi, compact plastic cases that mimicked the real deal. While they couldn't replicate the full experience, they did come with a tiny compartment perfect for holding tiny treasures. You've got it, and McDonald's has the cure. Changeables. Autobots, 
Roll out. In the spirit of the transformative 80s, McDonald's cooked up a delightful surprise with their Changeables Happy Meal toy series. These little wonders capitalized on the craze for Transformers, these shape-shifting robots, by taking it one step further. These toys transformed into beloved McDonald's menu items. The original lineup boasted six food items that underwent a tasty metamorphosis into robots, including the Chicken McNuggets robot and the Big Mac robot. It's been an honor serving with you all. Lego Bionicles. Introducing the Mighty Kids Meal. In a creative collaboration with Lego, McDonald's introduced a premium line within their Mighty Kids Meal to celebrate the launch of Lego's Bionicle series. This special collection featured six pint-sized Bionicles, each sporting a unique color scheme and distinctive helmet. But the real fun began when you discovered that each character came equipped with a small disc-launching gadget. Just place the disc in their hand, pull back, and watch it soar. As an extra treat, a Lego Bionicle comic book was also included. It was a blocky, Bionicle-infused journey into imagination that left young builders loving it. I'm going on an adventure! Minions. McDonald's teamed up with the mischievous Minions for some Happy Meal fun, and the result was a treat for fans of all ages. The original Minions Happy Meal toys, first introduced in 2015 to coincide with their own movie, were just the beginning. In 2020, they pulled out all the stops, rolling out a whopping lineup spread over five exciting weeks. Each week unveiled a fresh batch of seven unique figurines, making for a grand total of 35 different Minion characters. From police officers to beach bum minions, this collection had a minion for everyone, including, of course, Kevin. Hello. First time here? Well, become an official Babble Topper by taking a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Thanks! Now, more Happy Meal toys. Tier A, still top notch. Batman Returns. Eat floor. High fiber. In 1992, McDonald's brought a taste of Gotham City to their Happy Meals with the Batman Returns toy collection. This nostalgic lineup featured four iconic vehicles straight out of the Warner Brothers superhero blockbuster, such as the Batmobile and Penguin's Roto Roadster. McDonald's also released six collector cups with movie-related prints. However, this lineup faced a sudden recall due to the dark and controversial content of the film. Rats with wings, do you? Hot Wheels. Collect a different Hot Wheels car each day. Since June 1983, McDonald's has been revving up excitement for kids with the Hot Wheels Happy Meal toy line. It all began with miniature die-cast cars straight from the Hot Wheels mainline collection, a tradition that zoomed on until 1990. In 1991, McDonald's shifted gears, introducing their unique car designs to the lineup. Through the decades, these Happy Meal Hot Wheels have sped into the hearts of countless enthusiasts. And with the most recent lineup hitting the road in 2023, it's clear that the Happy Meal Hot Wheels partnership is still racing strong. You wanna play, Pops? Let's play. Fraggle Rock. Is that Fraggle Rock? In 1988, McDonald's treated Happy Meal fans to a dose of Fraggle Rock magic with a set of delightful toys. Four iconic Fraggle characters took the wheel in whimsical, veggie-themed cars with cookies for wheels. For the littlest fans, there were Gobo and Red Fraggle figures, each holding a veggie. Each toy came in its own Happy Meal box. And to top it all off, there was a McDonald's commercial featuring the animated Fraggle Rock Show characters. Oh, Pepper Jack love Fraggle Rock. Muppet Babies. You sure do say bleep a lot. Because it's the bleeping Muppets. In 1987, McDonald's dished out a dose of adorable nostalgia with the Muppet Babies Happy Meal toys. This fantastic four-piece set featured the Muppet Babies riding in style on wheeled vehicles. Baby Kermit showed off his moves on a skateboard, while Baby Gonzo rocked a big green wheel tricycle. But the fun didn't stop there. Canadians even got a bonus treat with Baby Animal hitching a ride in a snazzy red wagon. Now get out of here, you Muppets! Hello Kitty toys. Ah, fear me. If you dare. McDonald's and Hello Kitty, a perfect pairing that delighted fans since the year 2000 and counting. Over the years, they've treated us to a dozen adorable lineups, the latest one charming its way into our hearts in 2019. But let's rewind to the original release, where Hello Kitty figurines took center stage. These cutesy collectibles showcased Hello Kitty in an array of delightful poses, from zooming in a tiny car to flaunting fashionable dresses. <laughs> 
Look, a little cat. S, the super tier. A hundred years of magic. Ciao, Mickey Mouse. Behold the 100 years of magic Happy Meal toys, a true gem in the world of Mickey D's collectibles. These commemorative pieces celebrated the centennial anniversary of the Walt Disney Company in style. Crafted with intricate detail, it featured mini figurines of beloved Disney and Pixar characters, from Mickey Mouse to Buzz Lightyear, capturing the essence of a century's worth of enchantment. Its timeless appeal and craftsmanship made these toys a must-have for Disney fans, and an enduring symbol of the magic that Happy Meals can bring. I am Mickey Mouse! 101 Dalmatians. If we make this coat, it would be as if I were wearing your dog. No, you're not seeing spots. They actually released 101 different Dalmatian figurines. The 101 Dalmatians toy collection, based on the Disney classic, was a true canine carnival. These little pups came in various poses, sizes, and expressions, making each unboxing a delightful surprise. Each Happy Meal came with one of these black and white wonders, and the challenge was to collect all 101. Simple yet in Endearing, these toys can be worth a pretty penny today if you happen to have them all. How Super Mario Toys. Meow. In 2022, the Happy Meal took a warp pipe straight to nostalgia heaven with the Super Mario toy collection. As part of the animated Super Mario Bros. movie promo, these little treasures brought our favorite Mushroom Kingdom characters to life. From Mario and Luigi to the dastardly Bowser and the ever-cheerful Toad, there were eight iconic figures to collect. Each toy boasted vibrant colors and intricate details, making them a hit among both kids and adults. Oh, what? I'm a cat? <laughs> You got the cat box! Inspector Gadget. Go, go, Gadget Chopper! Back in 1999, McDonald's had us all feeling like secret agents with the Inspector Gadget Happy Meal toys. Tied to the live action movie release, this set featured eight individual gadgets. Each toy was a unique component of Inspector Gadget himself, from a grabber arm capable of nabbing tiny objects to a watch belt that doubled as a functioning time teller. The best part? When you collected all eight pieces, you could assess assemble your very own Inspector Gadget, complete with a gizmo-packed arsenal. Go, go, Gadget, indeed. Go, go, Gadget, circular socks! Marvel Heroes. Avengers! Assemble. In 2010, McDonald's served up a treat for Happy Meal enthusiasts with the Marvel Heroes toy collection. Featuring eight iconic heroes like Hulk, Wolverine, Iron Man, and Spider-Man, these figures were a miniature marvel in their own right. Each hero boasted a unique trait that brought them to life. Hulk, for instance, had a nifty lever that allowed you to make his fists smash together in righteous rage while Spider-Man came equipped with spider-web-shaped suction cups on his hands for wall-crawling adventures. McD's made it easy for kids and collectors to create their own team of Happy Meal Avengers. I, I understood that reference. We've got more than Happy Meals on our menu, so stick around and tap on another great video. And show us some love and tap that subscribe button and that bell to join our notification squad.